I'm Dr Lynn Phillipson, Senior Lecturer in the School of Health and Society in the Faculty of Social Sciences. My role in this project has been to bring together a range of researchers from different discipline backgrounds. It's been a unique problem because previously dementia has been seen as a medical problem and this project has really highlighted that creating a dementia friendly community is everybody's business. The reasons I've personally become involved um, there's probably several. One is to actually do something constructive, um, to get out and do more than what I have been doing. Um, also, from a, I suppose a bigger perspective, to contribute something back to the community, uh, particularly representing those with dementia, and also to try and overturn people's views about what it is like to have dementia. Uh, you can still do things. You are not dead and buried at that stage. You might be moving towards it, but your feet are still in the right area. The university has um, been involved in a number of research activities to tr truly try and understand what it's like to live in Kayama if you have dementia. We engaged in interviewing people with dementia and members of their family to try and find out what sorts of activities they're doing at home and what are the kinds of things that help them to get out and about and stay involved. We actually mapped those activities onto local maps so that we could actually show council and members of the community the places in their community that, that actually were dementia friendly and also highlight some hot spots, some places where action might actually make particular places in the community more dementia friendly. The role council has taken in this project has been to really facilitate the, the relationships with the community because we're quite connected with our community. Well we've been on this path for quite a while of looking at how we can increase the livability and health and, and interaction of our community because we know that is what builds resilience. Um, and uh, so we've been working in this sort of age-friendly, livable community space for a while now. And so when uh, Alzheimer's Australia and, and the university approached us about the partnership, well, we naturally jumped at, at, uh, at that opportunity. We did a general survey of the community to find out what the general members of the public actually understand and know about dementia and what their attitudes towards people with dementia are. Well, dementia friendly Kaima means quite a lot to us uh, in terms of our involvement in this local community. The community has always been part of our lives and uh, it's good now I'm retired to be able to be involved in a number of different organisations and uh, the Dementia Friendly Alliance project has actually helped us to be involved with a whole network of people. The project's actually had some really significant achievements. Uh, we've been able to, to really try and raise the awareness in the general community of what dementia is and what it's like to live with dementia in Kayama. We've been able to change some of the attitudes of community groups and provide some training to help them become more inclusive of people with dementia being able to be involved. There are groups like the local Probus group, the local Red Cross, local choirs, ukulele clubs, knitting clubs, all of these sorts of groups that potentially may already have members that have um, dementia or in the future with Kayama's ageing population may encounter um, people with dementia wanting to be involved in, in those groups. The project's achieved an awful, an awful lot uh, so far. We're really um, proud of the work that we're, we've been doing in this partnership. It's not on our own, of course. Well, for us, the benefits of being involved in the uh, Dementia Friendly Project have been uh, very great. I mean, we, we love getting out and, and doing things together. And uh, it's put us in touch with a whole network of people, both uh, health professionals and other ordinary people like us. Uh, and uh, so we can actually uh, find the support we need I'm really passionate about research that can make a real impact in the lives of people and I've become really very involved in researching with people with dementia and trying to understand what it is to live with dementia and how research can help illuminate the lives of people with dementia and improve things for, for people with dementia.